Hey everyone, I'm Mike from theparkprodigy.com and on today's video, we're gonna break down five things that you'll absolutely love about the Disney Caribbean Beach Resort. And I gotta be honest, this hotel has never been high on my list of the best Disney World hotels. However, Disney has done a ton to change that in recent years. They have put a lot of upgrades. There's a lot of new stuff going on at this hotel. So if you are in the process of planning a Walt Disney World vacation, you're gonna wanna be sure to stick around to the end of this video, specifically number two and one on this list, I do think are game changers and I think are something that everyone should be considering for their next Walt Disney World vacation. I'm really excited for this video. Let's go get started. Thank you all again so, so much for checking out this video. We really appreciate you checking out all of our videos that we've been posting at The Park Prodigy. But specifically for this one, we're gonna break down the top five things at the Disney Caribbean Beach Resort. And like I said, this hotel has never been high on my list of the best Disney World hotels. However, the more that I take a step back and I look at these recent upgrades that Disney has brought, and I look at, I think the simple fact that the Caribbean Beach has so many variety of rooms, I think that's why so many families look at this and specifically in this price option as a moderate resort i think it gives you a ton of flexibility specifically with the rooms i think the two biggest things are those king bed rooms for those couples and the you know the adults visiting walt disney world and then of course for the families visiting walt disney world i think it's those fifth sleeper rooms which essentially you'll have three beds you know one being a mini bed but you'll have three beds in that room and i think that is a huge game changer especially for those families of five so i will say that and i do see a lot of the benefits and hopefully by the end of this list you see a lot of the benefits as well. So we're gonna start with number five, and of course, number five, given the name, the Disney Caribbean Beach Resort, we have to give a huge shout out to the vibrant tropical Caribbean theme here at this hotel. Now, for those that might not be as familiar with this hotel, the Caribbean Beach Resort is all about the island life, and you will be right in the center of it when you stay at this hotel. Now, there are five different Caribbean islands that are represented at this specific moderate resort. So we have Barbados, Jamaica, Martingue, Trinidad and Aruba. Now, each of these Caribbean islands are different areas of the resort with colors that reflect the culture and vibe of that specific island. And we think this is really cool. And I will say that one of the coolest things about being at Walt Disney World is just a different variety of theming. And especially when you come down from Florida, I kind of feel like you, you really want this Caribbean vibe. I mean, the, the Florida heat is gonna make you feel like you're in the Caribbean anyway. So you might as well go with the Caribbean vibe. And that is number five on the list. And it's very unique to this specific hotel. Okay, so moving on to number four and kind of sticking with the Caribbean vibe. And you'll see here at the Park Prodigy, we talk about food a lot. And specifically, if you've been watching our videos, you know how much love I give to Universal Orlando. On the flip side, I will say the one thing that I think Disney has always been the best at and will always be the best in my opinion is the different food. And you'll see one of the things that I love about growing up in New York City is we are extremely spoiled when it comes to food, right? But specifically, New York City, there are so many different cultures, there's so many different people, right? So when you have that, you have just so many different variety of things that you personally can go and, and try and you know learn about different, specifically in this case, food types. I think Walt Disney World is just like that, specifically for the central and the Orlando area. I don't think that there's anything like this specifically from a food standpoint. The fact that you have this many different inspired foods and specifically over at the Caribbean Beach Resort, of course, we have the different Caribbean inspired foods. Now, the highlighted restaurant of the Caribbean Beach Resort is Sebastian's Bistro. And Sebastian's Bistro is a casual family style restaurant with many Latin and Caribbean inspired flavors. Now, this is the perfect for those family dinner nights or a fun night for the Disney foodies. Now, here is we can get a taste of the Caribbean with dishes like oven roasted citrus chicken, slow cooked mojo pork, and grilled flank steak. Now, some of the other restaurants at the Caribbean Beach Resort are the Center Town Market, which is kind of the quick service cafeteria style food, the Banana Cabana, which is the poolside bar service with specialty Caribbean drinks and quick bites like jerk chicken wings or chili con queso, and then the Spyglass Grill, which is again, another quick service restaurant. But I think, again, the most important thing is those different flavors, just the Caribbean inspired flavors, um, something that you'll definitely enjoy and something that you'll wanna keep an eye out for. Okay, so moving on to number three, and of course we have the free fun activities for families. Now, when staying at a Disney resort, especially those in the moderate or deluxe categories, you'll always kind of expect to get some awesome free perks, right? Now, of course, we love those free perks at the Disney Caribbean Beach Resort, and here's what guests can keep an eye out for and enjoy. We have the Caribbean K Island. So as you're using the beautiful lush walking trails around the small lake in the center of the resort, you will come across Caribbean K Island. Now, this is a small oasis with walking trails and benches that guests can enjoy 
during the beautiful warm nights. And also they have children playgrounds located around the Caribbean K Island, which are perfect for families looking to just take up some time on their Disney vacation. Now the Caribbean Beach Resort isn't messing around when it comes to pools and they actually have six total in this one moderate resort. Now each Caribbean village has their own leisure pool. Now these are gonna be, you know, the quiet pools, um, nothing really fancy about them. Yeah, they're going to be great just for relaxing and kind of hanging out by the water. Now, if you're looking for some family fun, and specifically what the kids will love, is the Old Port Royal Pool, which is going to look like an old colonial Spanish fortress that used to have old pirate pals. Um, they come and, you know, tie their boats up, all that good stuff, right? And here, specifically at the Old Port Royal Pool, you can find two water slides, one being 102 feet long. You can find the Man of War water cannons and the little ones will have a shipwreck play area then you have a huge pool with many umbrellas and seating areas for relaxation and then of course last but not least we can't forget the 12 person spa and pool okay so tying into number two and you can obviously see at this point that disney caribbean beach resort is pretty pretty big right you have six total pools at this one moderate resort and, and i would say that that's always been one of my biggest cons when it comes to the moderate resorts i just felt like they were way too big and that might not work for every family however with that being said i think one of the things that kind of wasn't working is that it was kind of just like well okay this is all we have here like it's it's such a big hotel but it's all the caribbean beach resort like something just felt missing and that's where two and one come in now over at number two one of the newest disney hotels is in walking distance to the disney caribbean beach resort and it's kind of connected by those walking trails that we've now talked about um you know a little earlier in this video and that is going to be the disney riviera resort now i put this on the list because i think the fact that you have such easy access to the disney riviera resort is huge and specifically I, somehow we got back to food, but I'm not surprised. We have to give a huge shout out to Topolino's Terrace. And now this is a character dining experience over at the Disney Riviera Resort, and it is simply amazing. It's amazing for breakfast and for dinner. And we love the fact that if you're a family, you can make a reservation and you can go walk over to Topolino's Terrace and enjoy this amazing experience. I also will say that the Primo Piatto over at Disney Riviera Resort it is a quick service restaurant. I had the best quick service breakfast I've ever had at Walt Disney World, specifically at this hotel. The food was so fresh and the flavors were just amazing. So I will say that from a food aspect, again, I love talking about this stuff. Like I, I think about this when I'm planning my vacation. Like, yes, I have now the Caribbean themed foods here at my Caribbean beach resort. However, what other restaurants are in walking distance that I can go and you know take advantage of whenever I want? I think that's an important aspect and I think that's something new. And that's something that the Disney Caribbean Beach Resort has going for it now with the Disney Riviera Resort. I will also say that kind of talking about those walking paths, right? The fact that now you have this, you can go and you can walk over to the Riviera, specifically from a as a Run Disney fan, I look at this and I think, hey, like, you know, if you are into fitness and you want to get a, a, a run or a long walk in on your Disney vacation, well, we talked about it. the moderate resorts are really, really big. However, that's a con, but a pro is if you're into running or, or if you want like a really, really great amazing trail this is one and you can run all the way up past the disney riviera resort and you can circle back down to disney caribbean beach also the views speaking of topolino's terrace it's on top of the riviera resort the views from this hotel just in general the entire campus now of the caribbean beach with the riviera amazing views at sunset it's beautiful i've never seen anything like this at walt disney world of over bay lake it's pretty amazing as well however this is just something very unique to this specific hotel and at number two, the close proximity to the Riviera. And at number one, it might be no surprise, but with the new Riviera Resort has also come the Disney Skyliner. And again, this is a huge game changer because for the longest time, I did feel like, hey, maybe the Caribbean Beach is a little out of the way. Maybe it's you know, a little inconvenient. However, with the new upgrade of the Disney Skyliner, which is now taking guests to both Epcot and Hollywood Studios, it is definitely more convenient in that aspect, right? And again, I do think that this will just be a huge game changer for every single family's Disney vacation who is staying at the Disney Caribbean Beach Resort because now you do have that flexibility. You will still take the shuttle buses over to Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom. And you can, of course, take the shuttle buses over to Epcot and Hollywood Studios if you choose. But the Skyliner is a game changer. So convenient. It makes, you know, kind of hopping over to Epcot a little bit later at night. If you're a park hopper type of family and you love, you know, relaxation by one of the six pools, then again, you're going to want to take a look at the Caribbean Beach because they have made, you know, all these upgrades specifically, in this case, the Skyliner to make it more convenient. And I think it needed that. I think Disney recognized that and I think we got it. 
So, of course, we have to give a huge shout out. And that's the list, guys. That is from five down to one. Those are some of the things that you will love about the Disney Caribbean Beach Resort. If I missed anything, if you guys are Disney Caribbean Beach vets and there's something that you love about this hotel that I didn't mention, please let us know. Please leave it in the comment section. We check our comment section all the time. Also, if you do have another Disney hotel that you wanted to go and take a look at, please let us know. We would love to go check it out for you. I hope you all found this video helpful. And I will say if you did think some of the stuff we said about the Disney Riviera Resort sounded amazing, we are about to release a video. So please be sure to subscribe to our channel so you get the latest and greatest Disney vacation planning tips and tricks. I think that's all the time we have for today. Until next time, I will talk to you soon. Thank you.